Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. I just really don't understand why people want Kevin to give up play calling or they want him to be fired as the head coach. Everybody was just singing his praises for three weeks straight, but we can't keep going from this tit for tat thing when we lose to the AFC team. You know, that was a very, very tough team that we went against with the Broncos. And for the next couple weeks, we control our own destiny. So regardless of injured or not, Kevin's going to have to get the game plan together so we can at least win the next three or four games. We control our destiny, so we have to win on out, period, point blank, end of story. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Tim, uh, I, I have coined the phrase, they're with the coach, win or tie, without question. Um, and winning out, I, I, I slow down on that. I, I, it's possible. Um, if they go three and three, they're in pretty good shape. If they go four and two, they're in really good shape. Um, Jacksonville's a good team. Houston's a good team. Starts with they got to find a way to win. It, it doesn't have to be pretty. They got to stop turning the damn ball over. I mean, they 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 have had more turnovers than anybody in the league. Yeah, and I mean, obviously in Denver this time it was you know the fumbles that were the issue. It's been quarterback interceptions that played a big role in that. That's why you know Joe Flacco has passed the PJ Walkers on number two quarterback because PJ's had issues turning the football over. DTR certainly has cut it down. You know he had the three interceptions of the game against the against Baltimore. He's had one interception in between his last seven quarters. So that tells you there's some pretty good growth there as far as protecting the football. But yeah, it's got to be a whole team wide effort to protect the ball there. But, you know, when it comes to Kevin Stefanski, it's, yeah, any coach can make a bad call. I mean, any coach can make a mistake in any sort of situation. I mean, that's human nature. Sometimes you're just going to get out coached. And I think that's kind of what happened on Sunday is Sean Payne just had a really good game plan and the Browns just weren't able to, to counter in time. And obviously the injury to DTR, I think, kind of took the uh, wind out of the sails of the Browns a little bit. And you saw that kind of the way that game unraveled after that hit on a, on DTR that knocked him out of the game. But by and large, again, you know, the Browns could be on their fourth starting quarterback this season. We just talked about the slew of injuries they have. And, I mean, you, there's a real strong argument to be, to be made that this is the most banged-up team in football and probably not even by a little bit. So the fact that they're 7-4, and four, that's a credit to what Kevin Stefanski has done, you know, setting the culture of this team and getting them to play the way they are every single week, you know, just with that even keel nature. And, I, you know... I think three wins really can get you in. Four basically guarantees that you're in, I think, in the AFC. But you said that Jaguars and Texans games are going to be extremely tough. 